What's up guys? Welcome to week seven of Competitive League. Um, tonight's course is going to be four minutes is your time limit. Um, so let's get started. Um, you're going to start right over here on the black floor. Uh, your time is going to start. You're not able to touch any of the blue before you touch the obstacle. I might even put a tumble track down just so that way we're not even tempted. Um, but I forgot to do that. But either way, no touching the blue. You're going to step across the gumdrop, jump to the rope, to the red pad. Then you're going to take the red pad, you're going to keep the rope. You're going to go from the red pad to the green uh, bouncing to the warp wall. You get your first point when you touch the third gumdrop, your second point when you touch the rope, and your third point when you make your way to the uh, work wall without touching any of the blue floor. Uh, the reason that you're going to need the rope is because your next obstacle, the work wall is your starting platform. Uh, your next obstacle is taking the rope to the blue step. Um, feet are allowed on the blue step. Um, I mean, feet are allowed on the rope and obviously hands and everything, hands and feet on the blue step. You're going to swing it land on the step you can step on top because then you're going to make your way to the black pad your first point is when you touch the blue step your second point is when you get to the black pad um your next obstacle is monkey bars to the two cannonballs to the black pad um monkey bars are only on in this section the second set of monkey bars are off you're only going to use the cannonballs from there making sure that we are being really careful. We're not grabbing the bolt at all uh, when we're going through this, okay? Right in the top, making your way to the black pad. Um, your first point is when you touch the egg. Your second point is when you touch the cannonball. Your third point is when you get to the black pad. Then you're gonna come over here to balance. You may sit, put your hands on whatever you need to do to get down to this balance, that's totally okay. Uh, you're gonna take the balance you're gonna make your way all the way down. The next set of balance is on this squishy pad. You're gonna take it all the way down to the black pad. Um, touching the truss is off. If you touch it at all, then you won't get any more of the points. And no touching um, the blue of the balance beam uh, or the green of the pipe. You will get your first point when you touch this beam. You will get your second point when you touch this balance beam, you will get your third point when you touch this pipe, and you'll touch your fourth point when you get to that black pad. This is a pretty long balance and it gets pretty uneven and squishy on this, so we want to give you guys lots of points if you're able to make your way through. Uh, so like I said, fourth point is here. This is your starting platform for the next obstacle. Just making sure you can use this truss, you can use it to balance or whatever. You're not gonna use this at all though because there's stuff on it, I just don't want you guys to get hurt. So you can stand up, you're gonna make your way from this black box to the bar, to the pumpkin. Because you guys got to practice that change of direction last week, then you guys are gonna use that change of direction to go up to the switch grip board, to the next switch grip board, to changing your direction again, to dismounting onto the green pad. Your first point is when you touch this pumpkin. Your third point is when you touch this board. I said second point. <laughs> you said third. Sorry. First point is when you touch the pumpkin. Second point is when you touch the board. Third point is when you touch this board. And fourth point is when you land on uh, the platform. This is the starting platform for the next obstacle, so if you miss it, you'll miss that last point. Um, from this platform, you are going to jump over to the uh, devil steps. If you, you want to put your hand on this, that's totally fine to make your way up to the devil steps. Whatever one you can jump to or reach, you can get to it. Um, for the littlest kids, I'm going to test it out with the shortest one and see if they can jump. If they can't, then I'll find a solution. But for the, everyone else that's a little bit taller, you should be able to use this and make your way right over and up the devil steps all the way through to this green pad is your dismount platform. Um, you get your first point when you touch the fourth step, your second point when you touch the top one, your third point when you touch the other side of the top, 
and your fourth point when you land ooh, on this uh, green box. If you miss it, that's okay. You'll miss the, just miss the fourth point, and then you'll step on up because this is the starting platform for your next obstacle. Um, you may use this first um, uh, doorknob peg, whatever you need to use, whatever it's called to use it. Um, then the, going forward, the rest of the pegs are off and you're using just the rings. So this one's okay. Then it's ring to ring to ring to ring to ring to dismount onto the green pad. You get your first point when you touch the second ring. Third point when you touch the third ring. Second, oh my gosh, I'm messing up. <laughs> First point, second point, <laughs> third point when you touch this ring, and fourth point when you touch this pad. Okay? One, two, three, four. Don't worry, I have it under control when it's time for scoring tomorrow night. Um, this is your landing platform. If you fall off, you're just going to miss that final dismount point because then you're going to come right over here for your starting. Uh, the next obstacle. All right, the next obstacle, you're going to climb up the rope, you're going to take the rings across, down the rope, rings across, up the rope to banana, to cannonball, to green dismount pad. Um, hands and feet are fine on the ropes, hands only on the holding obstacles, making sure not putting our fingers on the top of the banana or the cannonball. Your first point is when you touch this ring, Second point is when you touch this ring. Third point is when you touch the banana. And fourth point is when you land on the green dismount pad. As long as your momentum takes you forward, then I will give you that last point. If you step back at all, you will not get that final point, okay? It has to be past um, the front of the box. So anything over here and past, and you'll get that final point. Then you're gonna make your way over here. PVC will be right up against the mat when we start. It's fine. Um, when you're on the mat, it will be hands and feet, uh, feet only on the mat, hands and butt. You can't sit down. So you can't, you cannot do this and roll it out and roll it out and roll it out and go. You can't do that, okay? You only can start with your feet. You're more than welcome to roll it out with your feet and then start, okay? And if you have to come back and reset, that's totally okay too. But as long as your hands and your butt don't touch that mat. You're gonna make your way through and then getting to the red pad. Um, you may not step on any of the blue. If your foot touches the blue floor at all, then you won't get the points from that spot. Um, we will put tape down so you can kind of see where you'll cross. Basically, there'll be a line Right here, if, you're, if the PVC crosses that line, even at all, you'll get that point. Even if you roll back, you'll still get that point. Your second point is when you touch this tape line at all. If you even skim it the littlest bit, then I'll give you that second point. Your third point is same thing at the front of this tumble track. If it crosses this plane at all, you'll get that third point. And your fourth point is when you get to the red pad or beyond. We'll put some tape down so that way I can tell pretty easily if you lost your balance or if you're making way, your way to the next obstacle. Basically, you'll know where you can't step. You gotta show control. Um, there is no incidental contact. If your foot even barely skims the blue, you won't get that final point. And this uh, PVC is pretty slippery, so you'll wanna take it pretty close in order to finish it up. From there, you're gonna make your way through the jumping spider, just running. I just put some barriers up so you guys know. You're just making your way to the warped wall, up to the top, and hitting the buzzer. The time limit is four minutes because a few of these obstacles are a little bit more difficult than we've had previously, and I want you guys to feel like you have time to take the rest, plus the PVC will take a little bit of your time if you're able to complete all of it. So I want you guys to really focus on getting as many points as you can, not rushing through these obstacles, and I hope you have a great run. So good luck.